ever, you know, now that you've done them as singer, there's so much more reality TV out there. Would you ever do The Bachelorette? Speaking of meeting men and it's rating men, a la The Masked Singer. Oh my God. Well, look at look at how well The Golden Bachelor is doing. I think they definitely, they could, you know, Bravo could really find me a man. I mean, come on. I put in some, some years with them. It's the least they can do. <laughs> it is the least they can do. The Golden Bachelor is killing it. It's killing it in ratings. People are loving it. So perhaps... Andy Cohn, hello, is this microphone on? Perhaps we can have like a Bravo dating show where we can, you know, have a house of men for you, Luann. Well, you know, I've heard there's talk going on about something going on. Interesting. Well, listen, then <laughs> don't go off and fall in love with Captain Jason this weekend just yet. Well, he lives in Australia, so that's going to be a very long distance relationship. It will be very long distance. Well, speaking of cabaret, after you finish out this year, you now have your first date for your new show, Mary F. Kill, next year, 216 at the Wiltern in LA. Oh my God, I'm so excited about that show. You know, the inspiration for that came from really my Q&A with the audience, because I always get asked, every single show I get asked, who would you marry, who would you have, and who would you kill? So um, that really was my inspiration. I've already written a song with Bruce Roberts, um, who's an amazing producer. And so, yeah, I'm excited about that and the the, the new tour and starting off in uh, in uh, the Wilter and in February 16th and and then going off to uh, Europe. I, I, I got a um, Pride Festival, Pride Festival in June wow. uh, in in England. So in London. So I'm really excited about that. Wow, that's major. Well, I spend all winter at my LA place. So I've already texted a friend to say we're going. So we will be there on the 16th. Oh, amazing. Amazing. I How, love you, darling. <laughs> I love you too. How is Mary F. Kill going to be different than other iterations of their cabaret? Just from people that have been to so many shows. Well, you know what? It is uh, going to be totally different because it's really about, you know, that topic of marrying effing <laughs> <laughs> who we who we could live without, right? So, so the stories revolve around that. The music revolves around that. So it's always a new show, like this leg of the tour that I'm on right now this fall. You know, um, it it revolves around Crappy Lake more than it did than it did, you know, previously about Housewives. And you know, it's really pop culture meets cabaret, you know, meets comedy, and um, and the shows are always different. And so I, I want to bring a different flavor every time I you know I do a new show. So. Well, you know, maybe you'll have to work some hibiscus, it's raining men into this new, you know, Mary F. Kill, that kind of goes with it's it's raining men. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Yeah, that was a great experience for me. So, of course, I have to talk about that, you know, for the new for the new show. So I'm, I'm excited and I'm excited to be back at the Wilter. And that's, you know, I did one of my first shows at the Wilter, which was amazing. It was a packed house and there was just so much love in that room and. Um, and so, yeah, very exciting. Speaking of Mary F. Kill, out of your legacy co-stars, I'm going to even give you five choices. Dorinda, Sonia, Ramona, Kelly, Ben Simone, and Kristen. Who would you marry? Who would you F and who would you kill? Well, listen, I think, uh, I think I'd probably marry Dorinda. Why would you I'm marry gonna Dorinda? To, I'm going to have to, well, because I feel Dorinda's very solid, and, you know, a, a good woman and honest. And she's got a house in the Berkshires <laughs> and uh, Bluestone Manor. Uh, and I'm going to have to F Sonia because Sonia would be really upset because she, whenever Sonia has a little cocktail or two, she comes running to me uh, and kill. I, you know, there's nobody I would really kill off. Although, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to plead the fifth on that one. <clears throat> We'll just plead the fifth on that one here today. <laughs> Before we move on, what about your pirate, Tom and Jock? Who would you marry? Who would you F and who would you kill? Well, I've already married Tom, so I'm going to have to kill him. And uh, the pirate, I'm going to have to uh, F, finally. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm going to have to marry Jock. He's in New York. You're, you're in New York. You guys are together. Exactly. Often. You guys yes, are friends. Yeah. They say you're supposed to marry your friend, right? Well, you just never know, David. You Listen, life is strange, right? Yes, exactly. What about as a performer from being on The Masked Singer? You know, like you've performed so much in your career. Like, did you learn anything about yourself 
as a performer that you didn't know? On The Masked Singer? Yeah, from this whole experience. Well, yeah, you know, I, I feel like that I can perform now with my eyes closed because that's how it felt. <laughs> Maybe you should bring, you know, some version of the hibiscus costume on tour with you. Mm -hmm. I, that is a great idea. I love that idea. I, 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 you know, listen, uh, it was such an amazing experience for me that there's no way that I can't bring up the fact that I was on the mass Singer, you know, or have some sort of hibiscus flying around. It's a huge, it's a huge platform. You know, do you ever get like those butterflies, you know, like knowing, you know, even with your cabaret or just knowing there's millions of people at home watching you on this platform? Well, of course, you know, I want to, you know, be the best that I can be. And there's always butterflies. And, um, but I must say with rehearsals and um, performing the song over and over that I was prepared, you know, and I'm always, there's always nerves, of course. Um, but I love being on stage and I feel like I did the best I could do. And, um, and I think the audience is very pleased and so were the judges. I think so. What until about, they outed me. <laughs> until they outed you, until Jenny guessed yeah. you. But yeah, who, you know, I don't even know, like you, you sing so many different songs in your cabaret, but like, what are your musical favorites? Like who, who's just, what do you have on your iPod? What do you listen to when you just, what type of music do you like? Oh my God. I mean, I love everything from, you know, jazz to country rock to, you know, rock and roll to Peggy Lee, Broadway. I mean, I just love all kinds of music and you know you've been to my show and you see that you know I do a real variation of different songs that really mean something to me and so each song there's kind of a personal story that goes into it um and that's what makes it I think cabaret because it's personal to the performer and people feel like they're on your journey and you know that's what I try to bring to the stage is you're really on my living room couch and get get ready for a ride your 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 shows are very diverse. I'm so 80s focused with music. That's why I was so happy to hear this song. It's just for me, it's like it's it's all great, but I just if you leave it to me, yeah. I put on the 80s like 90% of the time. Oh yeah, yacht radio, man. I love yacht radio. <laughs> right? A little yacht rock. I get a little yacht rock, exactly. A little yacht rock. Well, you know, we're going to put this out there into the world that you get this like dating show. What about you mentioned your children? What about Thanksgiving? Like, what well, does I didn't say I had, had a dating no. show. I would like to have a dating show. But, but you know, it makes sense to me. I'm single, you know, I'm, you know, that would be awesome. I can't think of anything better than having producers cast men for me. Could you imagine just like a whole house full of like, and they actually oh, come to you, God. they ask, they ask what your type is, what you're looking for in someone. Like, it's a really, that would be great, right? Yeah. Like the song says, 